Today I'm going to review the AC1200 Linksys product, which is the wireless adapter that allows you to connect into an 802.11ac type wireless network. If you're familiar with the different types of wireless, there was A, B, G, and N. The newest kit on the block is AC, which gives you pretty powerful throughput. It operates at the 5 gigahertz range. You can have single or dual band. It's really the way to go so that you're not operating in the kind of the garbage band of wireless and it gives you a lot of throughput so you can really have kind of a gigabit like experience it's not quite a gigabit but pretty darn close so this particular product um, comes in a pretty small box I actually got it through Amazon and there's some some marketing on the front and actually on the back you can see all the different features one thing I want to point out is that this is USB 3.0 capable and when we pull it out of the box you'll see it's got a, a blue slot on the USB um, connector which is kind of the universal. If it's a blue tab on the on the connector, it's USB 3, and if it's black, it's USB 2. So I'll go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. It just opens up pretty easily on the side. And actually, there's a nice little finger depressor here where you can pull the whole thing out kind of in one, which is kind of nice, and you'll see. Uh, actually, the USB stick is right there. There's no plastic to cut out or anything to hurt your fingers on. Uh, so let me just put this along the side here. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a film here that you can remove. So we can take off um, this film here. There we go. You can remove that just to get it all nice and shiny, or not, if you're not in removing that kind of stuff. And then there's a little protector on the USB connection here. And if I remove that, you can see that it has the blue tab right there, meaning that it's USB 3.0. And that's pretty much it. There's some little signals letting you know that there's wireless activity. And for if you're using the uh, connectionless wireless where you're not having to put in a password, uh, the auto connect there is a little signal with the two arrows going up and down. Other than that, it's just basically the serial number. And then the rest of the packaging, I'll put this off to the side. There is a little manual that it comes with. Kind of a start here adapter. And if we open that up, it's a, a one, two, three type of setup. So basically, it's exactly as it sounds. You put the CD in, uh, as long as it's allowed to auto run, if not, run it yourself. And then it'll go through a little wizard that will prepare the drivers and then ask you to insert the USB wireless adapter. And that's pretty much it. It starts working right away. It asks you to pick a wireless network to consume. And then you're on the network. So in my case, I've got the EA6900 from Linksys upstairs. And as soon as I put the CD in, uh, in my, my computer, which comes with this little shrink wrap here, or this little uh, baggie, uh, it was literally that easy. It found the, the new 5 gigahertz band, connected in, and uh, was good to go. I'm getting, um, I don't know, close to 700-something megabits of throughput out of it, which is pretty nice. And I like the fact that it's got a decent bit of a connector head here so that if you have other devices on the back of your computer, they're not going to interrupt. It's a very thin type of uh, form factor so it's not going to bump up against other things and for the most part the lights are kind of useless for me I'm not really looking at them because I'm in the back of a computer but if uh, if you wanted to uh, eliminate those lights you can just put a little piece of electrical tape on it or something to kind of block those lights out so this is again the Linksys AC1200 wireless USB adapter for uh, 802.11 AC wireless connectivity don't miss out on my future videos. Become a YouTube subscriber today. Do you crave more content on home labs, technical certifications, deep dives, product reviews, and geeky shenanigans? Wall Network is also available in blog format at wallnetwork.com.